Well, hello there again, and you are more than welcome to episode two of Puzzles and Chill. If you caught the first one, you probably know what we're about here. If you haven't, what we're going to do, we're just going to do a puzzle rush here. Um, nice little slower, more meditative way to play some chess. Um, we're going to see how many we can get right in a row. We're going to go for the record, my record, which is 22 so far. Uh, we fell just short last time out. I think we ended up on like 19 or something, um, which was fun anyway. So we're going to click in here, Puzzle Rush, and we're going to do Survival Mode again. Again, there are shorter versions of this, 3 minute sort of blitz puzzles, uh, 5 minute puzzles, and then Survival, which is you have as long as you get, as long as you want, but if you get 3 wrong, you're out. So. Let's see how we crack on. Nothing for it but to start it. Um, again, for those of you who may not be uh, as familiar with puzzles, uh, you're always kind of playing the way you're facing. You're always sort of just playing up, oopsie, up the field like that. Um, basically from where you're viewing up the court. So to kick off, and again we'll start off on the lower sort of end of the spectrum in terms of puzzle difficulty um, and work our way up from there. No, I say that. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on this one, so I'm actually just going to calculate this one out. Um, and again, if you're ever uncertain of like what, who we're playing as, it'll say it up here as well. So this one, I'm thinking crash through, take, crash through again with the queen, oops, you go in there, crash through again with the queen, that'll be check, takes, Crash there with the rook. Mm, I don't see what sort of benefit that really gives us. If I'm being fully honest with you. Um, yeah, we've got. I don't. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure if this is. We might lose one immediately out of the door. So good start thus far. Uh, I feel like crashing through is the way to go first and foremost. It's a good start, okay. Um, somehow I feel like it's crashing through again. Actually, I think it's not necessarily checkmate we're going to run for here. It's just we're going to be up a rook. And that's all it is. Cool. So overthinking that one slightly. This one looks like a pretty handy one. We're going to jump in here with our rook. Um, king can't go nowhere to go back here um, and also this rook is blocking him in on this file and um, there might be one block that white can do in the meantime like this but after that it's game over okay I think this again just a double crash through generally tend to start you off on the easy ones and a lot of those easy ones tend to be back rank mates and um, this one is not one of those although we are I, th I, f I feel like I just want to crash through again. Um, takes, queen takes, rook takes, king we in check. Uh, yeah, I guess we get the the rook and the queen for, for nothing. Or for one queen. Okay. No need to reinvent the wheel here. This one looks like a pin tactic. Uh, king and the bishop are on the same file here or same rank even going across his rank files are up and down um, so I can pin this bishop to the king king is not going to be able to cover that distance to defend the bishop so just this and then we just get the bishop for no money absolutely free um, all right this one let's have a look see here shall we their king's in a pretty compromised position. See, our bishop is providing cover here, so I think that's actually going to be it. Just rook in here. King can't take because of this bishop. Um, and got nowhere to go. I think that's mate. Let's do it. Six on the bounce. I do have to leave in like 15 minutes, so if we're still going at that stage, I'll probably just take a pause because I have that ability now. Um, so this one, again, I think this is just going to be mate. I don't see anything that 
black can do to stop that. And there it is, seven on the bounce. Um, all right, next one. So again, with the bishop here, it really does start to limit where this king can go. So I'm thinking crash through here, king has to take queen up here should be mate. So let's try that. Bosh, bosh, lovely stuff. Um, and now, and now indeed. So I see the rook staring down the king here, also under a threat from this queen king back here not in the most comfortable situation this knight also has some some checks to level on us so uh, it's got to be pretty forcing um, initial thoughts are queen to take here king can go here or here and then queen here is gonna be close enough to mate for either of those actually mate for both of those so that's gonna be enough for us and then this Right, nine, nine on the bounce, playing as the white pieces here. Um, so, the pieces in play really are just this rook and this queen. And obviously they have a bit of a material advantage in this game. I imagine by the end of this tactic, they won't. Um, so I'm thinking rook here. Is going to be a check that they'll have to deal with first and foremost. It's also going to start if they like retreat um, here or here. They won't be able to go here because of the queen. Um, if they retreat, we can kind of land our queen in here. Um, they don't have any immediate checks coming back our way that will, you know. If, if one of these moves we have to make isn't like a, a check necessarily that can be okay as long as it's forcing in a different way but which I mean sometimes it's not necessarily a forcing move that you play in terms of legally they have no other moves but if you threaten mate with the very next move and they don't have a check or a response um, that is forcing is it in its own way it's forcing in so far as if they want the game to continue they need to do something um so i think it's going to be this okay and again if king dropped back here we could cruise in here and then yeah there was a few a few nasty things we could do i think those still exist are actually the exact same square for our queen i think here i don't actually think there's anywhere for the king to go oh i tell a lie um and now then, um, all right. So we could do this, but then King would drop back here, which point we don't really have any good options. Hmm. So finishing this one out. I mean, maybe it's here. What would here do for us? Here would mean the king has to go either here, which is actually kind of safe, or hmm. Can we do th no, that's no good. I was thinking here, but then queen takes and it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the one for us. I mean, this doesn't really do much for us. We just get taken there, and then there's actually some counterplay here. So I do believe it's this. Okay. Great. They didn't make us do it. It might have been a mating combination or pattern there that we might have been able to do. I didn't see it. So that's okay. Um. I think this is going to be a bit of a one-two punch of queen in here, protected by the knight. Um, and then if... So king will drop back here or here. In either case, I think knight in here would threaten mate the next turn. 
Um, so they'll have to give up their queen for this. So I think this is going to be first. And then it's going to be this. And then it's that. And we actually did have an unstoppable mate in there as well. Alright, so we are black pieces this is an end game this pawn looking very dangerous um i actually think it's probably just going to be kind of a race of just trying to get this to promote while keeping that one there uh and i can come here but we'll be there and then they can go here and let's just try this okay so then I think definitely we can just take and then he's away. He is absolutely gone. We've got a queen. And we would win that game unless we contrived of a way not to win it. Okay, so another early game tactic here. Let's see not super obvious straight away. If I'm being honest with you. Um, what this? So they just took our knight. I think we must have taken their knight there before. I think that actually, if I go here, this queen has no safe square. Can't go there because of the bishop, can't go here because of the knight. Uh, we'll be able to go here because of this bishop. They'll probably take the bishop. Yep. We're good. Free queen early on in the game. Hmm. Alright. So. I think it's going to be something like this. I actually think it's going to be exactly that. Because the king won't be able to go here because of the bishop um, and then here 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 off limits so I think this is mate it was a nice one nice very elegant um, okay white to move again here we are under the cosh but they have given us a piece for free um, which I think is this we can also take if we take this knight, then we're threatening two pieces which can't really defend. Actually, sorry, we can't take the knight until this bishop dies. So this is going to make my mind up there for me. Okay. Take the bishop, and then we're still attacking two knights here. So that should be okay. And the fork here. But I think this will be okay. Basically, we can just sort of give up the fork to say, okay, fine, you can have that rook. Um, but I'm going to take yours with my king as I'm getting out of that pin. Uh, okay, I think this is a bit of a fun one. So, again, at any stage as you're going through these, if you want to pause to shout some abuse at the screen or your phone, or to try and figure it out. That's probably the best way to do it, is once it's set up, um, try to pause it, and they'll each have one solution that works. Uh, so this one is one where you can kind of see the king has nowhere to go forward. So if I move my rook in here, it has to be a retreating move. So either here, here, or here, uh, not there. Here, here, or here. Probably here to keep the pressure on the rook. And once the king is on this back rank, uh, I can make this rook make a call, have to move off that square essentially, or else die for free. So it's going to be this, king's back here, uh, this is going to be, oh king back here for some reason, uh, this is going to be check and attack on the rook, so the rook, if we hover over the old thumbnail here, uh, the rook, if the rook took that rook on the back rank, then we recapture with the pawn and in doing so promote to a queen and it's game over. Okay, another pretty uh, snuggled up position for our opponent's king. 
Mm, I think it's going to be crash and then take back, crash, take with the queen. So then we have at that juncture, we would have a knight and a rook for our two rooks, which if you're keeping track is not a winning combination. Um, but then the king will be exposed, as will this rook. So I think then we're going to take here. So squimps, scramps, and then Scranton, Pennsylvania. And now we're up a rook. Okay, 17. This was as far as we got. I wish I didn't notice that that was the number we were on. I think this is the number we got to uh, the first time we tried this. And it led to... I think from here we started to, to lose pretty quickly. I do have to go soon though, so that might be that might be perfect. Uh, combination I'm thinking of here is knight in here, attacking a queen, but then can take with this knight. I'll come back with this knight, uh, again attacking the queen. Queen will have to move, and then we might be able to get that knight for free. Uh, I'm sort of rushing now because I have to go. That's no excuse. Uh, in either case, I like this move. And I like this move. And I like. Uh, well, what can we do now? What can we do now? Because the queen is now protecting here. Mm -hmm. Nice. Can't really offer any checks. We're on a different colored square to the king. Um, we can just take this bishop. Ah, yes. I think we do take this bishop. Queen takes. And then that's a fork. Take the bishop. Oh, they didn't even make us do it. But that's why it works. Um, okay, next one. We have the king in a pretty, pretty, pretty feisty area. Um, initial thoughts would be knight in here. Check. Um, king can either move. And if it does, there's nowhere really great for it to move except for back, um, which would lead to some some rather rather interesting complications. So queen might just take that knight, and then we'd win a queen. That's what I see thus far. Good start. Okay, queen takes. Uh, Rook takes. Okay. Nineteen gone. I do I do I do need to live. But again, you don't need to know this. This is a pre-recorded video. I can just come back and do it later. Um speaking of which bring pen okay, yes. We'll do. Um I actually think I will take a pause there because I'm allowed to. And no one will ever see this. And I do have to go. But I love you all. And Andy, when you're editing this, I love you too. See you soon. Many hours later. All right, we're back in the saddle after a one day hiatus, which you won't perceive. It's, it's just going to cut right in. We stopped, paused on Puzzle 19. I think if it's allowed me to stay logged in, we should pick up right there. Um, but a day has passed for me. You'll probably notice my hair is this much longer. Uh, I'm that much wiser and more senile. So let's see which is the stronger effect. We're going to dunk right back in here to puzzle 19. Uh, starting cold. Uh, making them get my excuses out there early on. Um, I feel like when we when we kick things off, we we're on an absolutely scintillating run of form. First 19 puzzles. Uh, we got a few lucky ones, I'm not going to lie, but um, yeah, a really, a really tasty run of form, but now we're starting cold and we're starting in with the tricky puzzles straight away. So let's see what we've got here, a very, very early doors opening here, 
So oftentimes I find with these earlier puzzles, it's not like checkmates or queens or even rooks that you're winning. Sometimes it's like a pawn or maybe two pawns or a piece or something like that. Um, generally these puzzles at the level I reach anyway, they don't necessarily go right up to like a tactic for just like a positional advantage. I think that's a little bit later on. Um, but in terms of what we can do here, so um, one thing I'm seeing is this king is uh, pretty exposed and kind of locked in here, doesn't have too much uh, escape routes to go here. And this little diagonal is pretty, pretty choice. Um, so I'm thinking bishop in here, probably knight takes, queen in here, pawn up here, queen take. Is that mate? I think so. Let's just try bishop up here, queen up here. We take there and that's checkmate okay so it was checkmate i told you a dirty lie um but that is how i operate um so this one um is is again it's an interesting one there's a lot of pieces on the court on on the board if you will this is hanging, this is hanging. Uh, that's not the safest, it's our move. In a game, I don't know if I would see beyond just taking the queen here. That's also a check. I think that's okay because I think we can take here with check and that's they'll have to respond there so they can either take or move their king they'll probably take at which point I can take my bishop here and then we'll be up a piece we'll get that queen back uh, it's not an open and shut case I think they're probably let's see if we look at a different order I can't really see past the knight taking the queen being the first thing. So let's start there, okay? Um, and now we can, we can win this knight or here. Just take it straight away. Actually, we can take it with our rook, in fact, because this is also a threat. That does seem neat. It also takes the threat away from the bishop. Threatens this rook. I mean, it threatens by way of offering a trade, but that's okay. We're we're up in the ascendancy here. I think rook first, and then I think take. Okay, got there in the end. All right, another early doors puzzle. Um, some things I'm seeing initially. I'm thinking this. Queen up there, king is exposed. Um, a very, very common rule of thumb in chess. Uh, is the F pawn, the forget about it pawn, sometimes referred to as like, don't move your F pawn uh, early on in the game because of exactly this weakness or just a general weakness that you can do without. Um, so the forget about it pawn. This one, I think Ben Feingold is a grandmaster. He often refers to that one as the forget about a pawn. Don't play f3 uh, or f4 in this case. So I think we're going to take advantage of that. I don't see a great way to stop that either. And we'll just up a rook here. Um, and then in respect to this threat, I think it's just get out of there. Okay. Great. 22, this is the this is the record. Any more here and we are we're in the black. Um Okay. Alright, alright. So
takes here. No, because then if bishop takes, we'll have to respond because that's more dangerous than what we would have here. And we don't have a check. I feel like with these early ones, these early game puzzles where there's so much on the board, these tactics get a little tricky because there's so many options of what you can do. Um, candidate moves take here, I think that just, they can just take back here with tempo. Bigger threat than what we've got here. If I take here, yeah, we're threatening the queen, but so are they. They're going to take our queen, we'll take their queen, uh, and they can get their bishop out of there. I would have a little bit more trouble getting my knight out of there, maybe here, but it's not a hook, line, and sinker. We get one, two, three pieces for there. One, two, I guess. Brain's going in a little bit of slow motion. In a game, I'd probably just play something like that. Just something real slow, make this bishop make a decision, but I don't think that's the tactic for today. Um, Maybe let's go here. Okay. So again, the threat is there. Ooh, crumbly. <sighs> okay, that was the wrong one. We'll come back to that one at the end. I have a feeling there might be might be some pretty pretty easy stuff we could have done there. Okay, this one I think is gonna be Rook across here. King can either give up defending this queen. Queen can block, in which case we'll take with the rook. Happy days. Um, king can also move in here, in which case we'll do this, which would mean queen would have to come across here and block anyway, and the rook can take. So I think it's this first, and then we'll just take. Um, ooh, this is nice as well. Just a nice little cherry on top. Uh, I mean, we're already. We got a rook for our. We got a queen for our rook, which is nice. But the game is still probably very much in their favour. They got 6, 7, 8, plus 10. They got 18. And we've got 9, 10, 11, 12. So they're way ahead. Until. We do something like this, which is check, but then they don't have time to come back and get this guy. Very nice little one there. A devastating heavy piece tactic there towards the end of the game that would have flipped it right on its head. Um, and now then, now then, what is our next move here? Again, they've got some pretty, pretty nasty threats in here. That's actually mate if we don't stop it, so it's going to be checks all the way. Um, and I mean, so we've got this bishop, a rangy bishop. Hmm. Part of me, a large part of me, that I like wants to do this which put the king in there and from here king can either go here which I wouldn't mind too much because then we could drop back here and they would have to go here and then we could do this and then we do this maybe a couple of things i don't mind if they go here so that's fine 
Um, and if I came here and they went here, then I could do here, queen there, which would force the king here again. And then after this, that would be really threatening as well. Okay, I think we're going to start with this. We are still on target for our 25, which was our stretch goal. But we need to get we need to get these next two right. Okay, so after this, again, it has to be checks all the way. So that does actually make my decision making a little bit easier, as it turns out. I think it's going to be this. That's the only real good check. So that's that. Um, anything with the queen here. Oh, this is nice. That is very nice. I think that's it, actually. Queen here. Can't go back here. Can't go here, 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 or here. That's mate. That's the one. Nice. Very nice, indeed. And we're on to 24. This one will be our stretch goal. I'm not going to stop there, obviously, but uh, it'll be a successful day out. It was a successful day out, even if we got zero right. Not zero. I want to hold myself to a certain standard. Uh, and zero is not that standard. So, what are we looking at here? We've got some two lovely bishops. Uh, namely this one. This one. Nice rook on a semi-open file here. Chess rooks roasting on a semi-open file. White's queen, nipping at your toes. Many themes. Being stung by a choir. No, ran out of, ran out of analogy. Ran out of analogy juice. Um, okay, 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 okay. I think one possibility, and I think it's just going to be a one piece victory puzzle. I think Bishop Crash in here, I think that this pawn, if this pawn takes, then we crash in here with our rook. We get a rook, it's a nice check, devastating. What will likely happen is if they take with the queen, so instead, so I go here, then they come here. This queen will give up defending that bishop. I mean, it would leave the queen on this lethal enough uh, diagonal in here with the bishop, but we will be a whole piece up. So maybe it's that. I think the rest of my pieces are maybe a little bit far out of the game to be involved in this one. So. Let's start with move one, which is this. Queen takes, still don't like this at all, but I think we've just got enough here defensively that this is still the thing. Great, that's 25. That's a great day out, baby's day out. And look, it's only up from here. I think one that I'm seeing straight away is queen take bishop here, queen takes back because that's going to be check actually, that's going to be check, queen takes back, knight takes bishop, knight takes queen after they take our queen. Um, if bishop takes here we take with the king, we lose our right to castle, we're up a piece. That's a kind of a guaranteed way to win a piece. So I want to do that one. Um, another good thing just to do, especially with these trickier ones, flip the move order, um, flip the way in which you do things. So if I take knight first, uh, bishop would take here with check. We'd have to work that out. We'd have to resolve that. 
and it would actually have to be queen check, which means the knight would just get taken for free. So it is going to be queen first, I think. And then take, and then we'll just give up castling. That's fine. 26, alright. Maybe a longer video than we might have uh, bargained for. So, and again, no time to mess about there getting ready to, to checkmate us, so we would have to just do it first. Uh, one that I like. Oh, I kind of want to just try to get that rook off the back rank in order to free up some sort of challenge in there. But I think we do have enough. We do have enough. There's another good thing to think about when you're solving these puzzles. There is a right answer. There is a winning answer. Um, sometimes you're looking at them and you're like, ooh, does this work? If they've served it up to you like this, it's gonna work. Um, but it's just about the order. So let's, let's work it out. Crash. Uh, only real good move would be to take it back. Uh, and then if we do this, there's plenty if they just took or they nestle back in there with the rook. So I actually think it might be something like this. Let's just see what happens here. Queen takes in here. Rook has to take. Otherwise it's made in the next move. Uh, rook takes and we come up here that's going to be check and the rook or either this will come back this will come back or this will come back in any case we should have enough there so it's going to be queen sacrifice downtown Lester Brown and just kick the doors in there lovely stuff lovely lovely stuff Okay, this one looks like just a pure race. Um, so, I'm often with these ones, it's kind of just getting started as quickly as possible. Our king is in a much better position than theirs, I think, because I'm close to stopping this. Uh, one thing which is a rule I don't quite fully understand, is you want to make a square with how far the pawn has to go with how far away the king is. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so the basic means if the king is in this particular square. Is that a five by five? Yeah, that's looks one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a six by one, two, three, four. That's actually probably too big, so it's here. Anywhere in this square. If the king finds himself in this square at the start of their go, or if they can if they can touch that square, which they are at the moment, then they'll be able to stop this pawn. I mean you could just go one, two, but I think by moving my rook across here that forces them to get out of that particular square. And now we just run away home. And they can't stop us. That's 28. Will we be here forever? Have I just mastered chess? No, is the answer. Um, very evidenced by the fact that I don't know what this one is going to be. So it's another king in a shady enough position. That's a check, which could certainly be viable for us. I actually think that is going to be the move because this will be a check in here. They'll take because they'll have to, or else give up their bishop, which they won't want to do. So they'll take here, or maybe they will just give up their bishop. They'll take there, and then we can come across here with our queen, which is check. King will tuck in here, we'll take that rook. I think that's it. Okay, so they saw that coming. Um, oh, 
Foolish. Foolish mortal. Uh, again, we'll, I'll just load up those two puzzles if I can. I think afterwards I can load them up. Uh, okay, we've got one more life. Can we get to 30 or is it going to be a stretch goal for next time? This one is fun because I feel like I've been in positions like this before. Um, in my games that I've played of chess. So I don't see any great checks that will get us too much initiative. But what I do see is uh, this square right in front of the king is uh, a bit of a death square, which is nice. So I think queen in here, it's not a direct check, but it's threatening mate, and they don't have any checks their next move which would mitigate that or, or cause me to lose tempo there. So queen in here, threatening mate here, they can either stop it like this, in which case we would take this rook, or they can stop it like this, in which case we would also take this rook. Great, okay, 29, can we get to 30? Whew. Let's see. You're my angel. You're my, you're my angel. Back to move. King. Very compromised. Very compromised indeed, actually. Uh, why isn't this move checkmate? Can't go here because of the bishop and the pawn. Can't take the pawn because the rook will be here. Can't go here because of the pawn. Can't go here because of the rook. Is that just mate? I'm in check. That's that's uh, the, the banana skin. Um, which is going to be annoying, but probably not that annoying. I think if I threaten this rook, then I lose. 29 crumbs. All the more reason to go for our uh, our next our next record look at this average time proposal 44 minutes and 52 seconds that's because we did take a whole day off in between um, but let's load up these three let's see how we get on um, and let's see how that looks for you 29 though I'm really happy with that uh, let's see okay what does that look like for you then? Uh, that's still still viable, I think, to be had. Move myself around. Uh, that's fine, really, isn't it? Okay, yeah, this one, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. So we started here, which I think was right. And then, I think we... <gasps> I see. Okay, so they take here. We did this, which was the wrong piece to take. I think we take here, they can take back there, which they'll want to probably, but we'll do this. And I actually only got this because the theme of the puzzle was vulnerable king. Um, so again, that only really comes into it in this move. Um, but a nice one here, which is up here, which is check. Gotta defend the check, we'll take that bishop. Okay, so that's one of them. Uh, we're going to move on to this other one that we got wrong, which is... Okay, so this is another one we did knight first. Play this problem. Uh, we did knight first, which worked. And then... I think we took the bishop, which was wrong. Why that was the case? I will never know. But it's wrong, so let's move beyond it. Um, you know, this. This is check. Then the king could take here, and then alternatively, the queen could even come in here, defend, block the check, attack the queen, and protect this. So I'm not so sure it's that. Did we do anything? We got one pawn. It's not going to be a one pawn problem. 
I doubt. Um, but what is what is the the answer? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, here, I don't think works. Also, that would also be pretty annoying. Um, so maybe it is... Okay, well, what if we do drop back here? No, no, because of the pawn thing we just said. Uh, so it definitely wasn't take pawn. I could have put a bit of money on that now. Um, we could get a hint. We did get it wrong. There's no shame in it. I don't want to just keep pressing wrong. Maybe I think I'll get a hint. We're not, we're not on the clock. So it is a queen move. So it was this. Let me just take here. Okay. That's right. Um, and then the last one we got wrong, which was this one, the very last one, which I feel like we, I thought I had something. I think I just moved here. Uh, okay, problem. So knight comes in here. And there was a check. I did this, but I guess that just leads to more, che more checking. Uh, if we take here, Rook will come over. Oh, me. Uh, Rook takes here. Rook will want to take here. If it does, this still is mate. That's my best guess. Bosh. Okay, they see it coming. So they check their way out of it. We just do this. We just do this. Yeah, they were just. What's well, known as desperado moves when you're. Uh, just sort of running out of things to do, uh, throwing checks, sacrificing pieces, just hope your opponent makes a mistake, just make them finish out the game. Um, but that was it, that is uh, the second half, 29, very happy with that, uh, smashed my PB and also gives us a nice little target of 30 to shoot for next time. Thanks for stopping by, if you had a nice time, feel free to smash that like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed that, um, and I hope you did too. Happy to take any feedback as well. Um, this will be all from Chess Please today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a nice little break, and we will see you on the other side. Bonsoir.